Did you know that Jurassic Park, Star Wars, and Jaws have a combined box office revenue of almost $2 billion? And that's excluding all the sequels and spin-off series. Part of the major success that these productions have attained over the years can be attributed to the masterful use of themes by legendary film composer John Williams, whose name is almost always synonymous to an iconic film score. During the 44th Life Achievement Award Gala tribute to John Williams, Steven Spielberg praised John and said one of his now most famous quotes about the composer. Without John Williams, bikes don't really fly, nor do brooms and Quidditch matches, nor do men in red capes. There is no force, dinosaurs do not walk the earth, we do not wonder, we do not weep, and we do not believe. With that said, let me ask you this. Are you serious about wanting to learn how to make your music an unprecedented force that breathes life into art? Stick around and we'll talk about how to write your very first theme. And maybe even some of the more intermediate composers can learn something new. But before we get into it, I want you to comment down below some of your favorite scores, whether it be from Hollywood or your own local industries. And maybe tell everyone a little bit as to why you love them. Hey, what is up, you guys? Today, we'll be talking about how to compose a great theme as a beginner in 2022. I'll be sharing some of my tips and tricks that maybe can help you in your future projects. All right, so let's get into it. So for example, today, we're going to be trying to make a short theme for a studio logo. The reason why we're using a logo logo is because you have to keep it short and sweet. And therefore, as a beginner, you won't have to worry about learning how to develop a piece into a full-length film. But one thing you're gonna have to keep in mind is because it's so short, every second matters. So we're gonna make sure today you're actively thinking and conscious about every second of music you make. Alright, so we're gonna hop into Ableton Live right now where I've prepared a session for you guys. Yo, what is up guys? Here we are in Ableton Live. We're gonna be taking a look at a session I prepared and I'll be showing you guys an easy six step process. Right, so the first thing we're really gonna need to do, obviously we have to watch the video, right? So let's just take a look at the video real quick. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna be doing is after watching the video, you're gonna need to pick a certain style or palette that fits the visuals. All right, so when, when watching this, I instantly thought, you know, this is a logo that's very natural, very kind of classic, animated, even almost Disney-like. Because I've grown up with a certain type of media, I, I associate, you know, like something like an orchestral style to something of this um, quality. So that's step one, identify the style or palette that fits the visuals, All right? So for this track, I'm gonna be picking an orchestral style. All right, so the second step is build your palette. All right, so what does that mean? You have to look for similar pieces of work in this style that you've picked that kind of give off the same vibe as what you wanna happen in this track, right? So for me, I've already gone and I've made a full orchestra section because I know that I'm gonna be making something orchestra. So this is gonna be my palette. So basically what I'm trying to say is that in step two, you're supposed to prepare whatever instruments you wanna be using or you think you might be using, any audio tracks you think you might be using. Basically, it's like a painter readying his paints in anticipation for, you, for the idea he's gonna be getting looking at a piece of landscape. All right, so step three. So after steps one and two, you figure out the style you wanna do, you figured out your palette, the next thing to do is mark the important parts of your video. So for this example, we only have around 15 seconds of footage. And in this 15 seconds, I've identified two major events. So this example, it's when it goes from night to day. And there was a second part, the landscape color changing, if you notice. See, it went from kind of orange to green. Now that you've taken note of the important things in your video, what you're gonna need to do is create a piano sketch, basically, or a, or a sketch of, of generally the idea you wanna do before you start expanding it to whatever palette you've chosen. One thing you can do in the middle of all that is make sure you double check the measures or the bars. Uh, sometimes you may, you may wanna change the time signature uh, to make sure that important things land on the right beat. Uh, but this is kind of a more intermediate to advanced technique. 
and um, I necessarily probably wouldn't uh, delve into this, especially as a beginner. But it's just something maybe extra that you should know. Alright, so I'm gonna try and sketch an idea for you guys while watching the video. Alright, so in this bar, I've identified that I kind of want to uh, put some tension in before the grand release. Kind of like tension here and then it then it goes grand release right when the sun comes out. One quick tip to create something, you know, that has tension, you're gonna need to use, um, you know, like basically a cord that can give you tension. All right, what is up you guys? Here we are again. It's about an hour or two later of just sketching around on the piano and I finally created something pretty cool. I'm gonna play it for you guys and hopefully you guys can hear it. Alright, so personally, I think that's pretty awesome. Let me just explain to you guys some things I did during my piano sketch. Alright, so if you guys notice, when we look into my master track here, I have it set for the automation for the song tempo. So, what I did was I actually automated the tempo to change to kind of mimic or imitate how a real orchestra would play it. Because in a real orchestra, not nobody's listening to metronomes, you know, people are feeling feeling the emotion. I feel like that's what lacks in a lot of modern day music. I wrote this all flat and then I kind of heard in my head the sort of dynamics I want to be here. This is a pretty intermediate advanced technique again, but I, I just thought in case you guys might be interested. Uh, and besides that, um, I also went ahead and kind of lowered the velocity of my notes because, you know, when you're sketching a lot and, you know, you're playing it, you don't really realize sometimes how heavy you might be pressing it or... All right, so it took a while, but we're finally done with step four in our process. Now step five is about orchestration or instrumentation. Now depending on the style of score you have, this is the part where you're gonna start expanding the notes into other instruments you've chosen for your style. So let me just do that real quick. All right guys, so here's the final product after step five, which is orchestration or instrumentation. Now all you have to do is step six, profit. Let's take a look at the score. Alright, well that basically wraps up everything you might need to know when writing your first theme. Remember to keep it short and sweet and make every second count. And with that, hopefully you feel more comfortable exploring and experimenting with future projects. And just remember to just have fun, experiment, and try something that just makes you feel something more than anything else. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to check out my channel to stay updated with future videos and possibly a new series in the works. Be sure to comment down below any other video suggestions you might have. Peace!